all this other false narrative saying this happened, she did that. I don't know what that... I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. So, honestly, I have to start protecting my name when I... Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. So, um... Krishan responded to the allegations of her allegedly putting hands on Tamar's best friend, James Wright Chanel. And, of course, she didn't take any accountability. We knew she was going to do that. Okay, so she basically went live saying, you know, I'm a female. Why was niggas popping it with her? You know, just putting the blame off on them. Saying that her team was outside and the guy lied about her team being in the room. She also said that, hmm, she never spoke with the road manager, the guy who set the show up. She said that she only spoke with Tamar. So she said he was lying and she, she didn't know, she never had a communication with him. So that's her side of the story. I don't know, you know what I'm saying? This is all allegations because like she said, I'm agree with her on this. They didn't drop any videos. I don't know if anybody was recording, but um, I'm pretty sure somebody was recording. So until the video comes out, it's all speculation and allegation. At the end of the day, we are still allowed to have an opinion. And at the end of the day, Krishan, something did happen. Although you in that video talking about nothing happened and, you know, girl, we ain't about to believe that shit. At, girl, stop. Girl, stop. You know, then you look over to your homeboy who in the passenger seat talking about, what would you have done in this situation? I'm a female. Like, okay. That don't give you the right to put hands on people, Krishan, just because you a girl and they a man. That don't give you the right to put your hands on nobody. Okay? You being a woman does not negate the fact that you are an adult and you need to behave like one. And at the end of the day, sis, you don't even act like a goddamn female. All right? You dress like little Bow Wow half the damn time. You always eating coochie. You know, girl, when was you... Girl, anyway, sis, shut your gender bending ass up. All right? Krishan, take some goddamn responsibility. All right? You're 23, not 13. And get over your self. Okay? This is weird shit. Honestly, more shit, more shit can be solved with an apology in life than people understand. You know what I'm saying? You can really go behind the scenes and tap somebody on the shoulder and, hey, baby, I apologize for what I did to you. I'm so sorry. I was out of my mind. I was drunk. I was high. I was whatever the case is. Baby, it'll never happen again. Here, take a little bit of this and, you know, here, take a little couple couple thousand and go get your, get your shit fixed. You know what I'm saying? And that, that'll, that'll keep you out of court. That'll keep you out of a probation office. That'll keep you out of a jail cell. So, Krishad, some accountability might do you some good, boo. Um, even if it's behind the scenes, you ain't got to do it in front of the camera. You don't owe us shit. I'm going to be for real with you, but you do owe it to the person that you allegedly assaulted if that did happen. Um, and if it didn't happen, you know, um, sorry that all of this is coming down on you like this, baby, but I don't believe it didn't happen. I don't. Not by the way you was responding, not by the things you were saying, because in one breath you're saying nothing happened, and in the second breath you're saying I did. Would you have done what I did? Or what, I mean, what would you have did in the situation? Talking about him and, and uh, insinuating that a situation did happen. So we don't know who to believe and what to believe, but at this point in time, baby, uh, you looking like a little guilty. You looking a little guilty, boo. So uh, y'all watch the video. Let me know what y'all think. I'll talk to y'all later, baby. Bye. What's up, my Oh, some Gatorade, please. Uh -huh. Gatorade. Just a Gatorade? Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I'm just like, I don't know. The more famous I get, the more tricky this shit get. Like, usually when I get invited out to a perform at a show, I let you say it. Like, oh, yeah, okay, you're going to perform after this set, blah, blah. Like, Sexy Red, Gorilla, like, not like that, but I've been brought out before, and I know how it goes a certain way. Um, I did have my team there. Uh, but it wasn't like we was in her room together. I went alone and stuff. So, uh, yeah, y'all saw how I was on live. I was by myself. I wasn't with my team. My team was outside waiting. Just waiting till, I don't know, it was time to work, you know? So that's what that happened. All this other false narrative saying this happened. She did that. I don't know what that, I don't know. I think it's just a clout chasing thing. So... Honestly, I have to start protecting my name when I... I don't know. I don't know how you step in situations like that. So, um, it had nothing to do with Tamar. Uh, it was some other shit. Like, 
the guy that's talking, talking about how he put it together, he didn't put anything together, and I never talked to him. Um, I directly talked to Tamar. She communicated that I could come out, and that was that. Uh, I don't know who that guy is because I never talked to him. The guy that got that he not gay, but he like whatever. He like boys. Him. I don't know how you say. I don't want to be rude, like, cause I'm not on this. I don't know what's going on and why niggas popping it like. I'm not just a female, like, and the clout chasing shit is kind of, uh, is getting out of hand, so, but nah, it was nothing between me and Tamar, I had nothing to do with any of that, but I don't know who's, I don't know, it was just like wicked stuff start happening, and then, I don't know, and then I let that go, I went, nigga, I went to a party, went back home to my kid, nigga, but, like, I don't, I have fun. What I don't get is the storytelling. Like, why everybody storytelling? Y'all got all the videos of us cheering, praying. Pr post, y'all was posted that. Post the other shit y'all talking about because everything is recorded and documented. Ready? They tripping on me, my boy. What happened? They tripping on me. Why? Uh, yesterday when I got invited out to take my show. Mm. Yeah. Like, what would you do? If, what would you do if that happened to you?